realize this draft isn't anywhere near being ready to defend. I thought it was pretty good progress considering- Bullshit. Excuse me? Ben, you and I both know that's bullshit. I have the ideas there. Look, I get it. It's a lot more fun to spin theories out loud than it is to sit at your computer and make things make sense. With a little more time. You don't have any more time. This is your seventh year. Your clock has run out, man. If you don't defend on schedule, all your coursework becomes invalid. Now, your argument and dialectic isn't bad. An overview of the philosophical spread of Calvinism across Western Europe. I'm focusing on how the idea of predestination shaped society, how it affected politics, culture. Yeah, yeah, I get it, not bad. But you gotta stop procrastinating. That may have gotten you through your masters, but it's not gonna work here. Now focus and get to work. Stop it! Mohammed, be nice to your sister. She's a girl. But she started no, it. Mohammed, drink your orange juice. I want apple juice. Enough, we ran out. Ara, is that food almost ready? Almost. She let us have donuts last time. Ara. I didn't give them donuts. Miriam, you know what Allah says about lying. I spoke to your grandmother today. Every time I call her, she's asking about you. When are you going to call that woman? It's always the same conversation about great-grandkids. I'll give her a call later. Oh, and Najib's mother called. She's insisting that you join them for dinner this week. It's not a good week for that. When is it going to be a good week? A good man like Najib isn't going to chase you forever. Ara, you have to start taking your place in the community. I take it you're finished for the night. I just started proofing. I'd like to get a little more finished before I have to get up tomorrow and do it all over again. Maybe it's time to give the dissertation a break for the night. Give yourself some rest. Mom. For your own sake. Remember, scripture says, to the righteous soul it will be said, O oh, thou soul in complete rest and satisfaction. What would a righteous woman do tonight? Didn't you say something about your friend's art exhibit? Why don't you take the evening off and go support her? Sasha wouldn't miss me. Would you stop it? Go see it if just for curiosity's sake. I guess I'm obsessing over this because it's my last paper as a student. If you give it too much power, it will control you. Sweetheart, go to the gallery. How's uh, work coming? Slow. Okay, well, uh, are you gonna be there all night? I don't know. May break for a few and get back to it. All right, well, you are still coming to the family dinner on Sunday, right? No. no I need to skip this week. Please stop being a martyr, because you could come if you wanted to. And do you understand that you are wasting your time on a PhD that is essentially worthless? I don't need this from you right now. You are afraid of the real world. What is the real world? Really? Here we go again. No, tell me. So accounting firms are the real world and academia isn't. Is that right? You gonna cure cancer with your MBA? You know what I think? I think that I'm gonna go out with Manny tonight. Is that cool with you? What are you asking me now? People change. And, you know, frankly, I really don't need any more drama in my life. So, yes, I'm asking. That's the deal, right? We can both see whoever we want.
Name, please. Vivian. Okay, you're good. Name, please. Ara Jalali. Sasha's friend, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Thanks. Name, please. Alice. I didn't think you'll make it. Wow, it all looks so beautiful. Thank you. It's amazing. I am so glad you're here. Me too. You know, he's gonna be coming here later. Okay. Which one is it this time? Jamark, of course, my Frenchman. Hmm. What about you? What about me? Don't play dumb. There's no time. Why don't you make time? You keep staring at my champagne. You want some? No. I just like the smell. <laughs> I love you, Ara. Excuse me. You have a bio? Excuse me. What were you thinking? I beg your pardon? But when they took the photograph of you, what were you thinking? I don't know. My friend took it. It's more of a favor to her. Mm. You didn't answer the question. Oh. The answer is nothing. It was a windy day, kind of chilly. I was just looking up at the clouds. It's impossible. No one really thinks about nothing. Excuse me? Maybe you're thinking about how cold it was outside, or about how you want this to turn out well for your friend. It's just a turn of phrase. Why not say my mind was wandering, or nothing in particular? It seemed just nothing that's inaccurate. You take things pretty literally. <laughs> I go to school with you. We're in the same department, Ben Johnson. Oh. It's an amazing photograph. Everyone's really raving about your work. You're about to defend, fourth year in. Is it ever really ready? What about you? I am woefully behind, actually. That was helpful. What? What we did earlier. Back and forth about nothingness <laughs> was helpful. Thank you. You have five minutes, actually, to just to bounce some ideas off of you. Uh, That's cool. Okay. Yeah? Sure. I'm writing about the concept of fate and John Calvin's teachings on predestination, how it affected Western philosophy. So where's your trouble? I compiled this great reading list, I did all this research, and then my first draft just sucked. You didn't send any segments to your advisor? Something like that. I don't know, I, I think philosophy is more about the talking and flushing out truths. Sounds like maybe you procrastinate. How do you know it's procrastination? You're in your last stage of a PhD program. You must have written papers in your masters that were good enough to get you here, right? Right. So you've probably had this habit for a while. How about yours? My dissertation? Yeah. It's about Cameroonian philosophy pre-colonization. How their ideas might have been different without European intrusion. It's like trying to ungraft a vine from a tree. How would it have looked, you think? Better? That's subjective. I believe thought develops best out of captivity, so... In that respect, yeah, better. What about you and Calvin? Would have been better had he not come along. Or if his teachings never took off. I don't know. I never really weighed in on that specific topic. You don't have an opinion on how a major movement like that affected your religion? I'm agnostic. I don't have a religion. Uh, well, that can't be a surprise. Most of the departments that way. Not everyone. Sorry. Um, 
I'm not religious, but I think the Reformation was more about freedom from Rome and the Pope. I mean, King Henry, come on, that had nothing to do with God, he just wanted a divorce. But, I mean, maybe separation from the Popsy was a good thing, I mean. Who wants to be Catholic, right? <laughs> Uh, I'd better get going. It's nice running into you. Yeah, you too. Um, do you want to maybe meet up again? Like, uh, can I get your number? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, here. Let me have yours. Well, I'll text it to you. Nice try. <laughs> Just put it in okay. here. There you go. Thanks. It was good running into you. Me too. Ara, don't forget to schedule dinner with Najib's parents this week. I know you hear me. Allahu Akbar. Subhan Rahbi Al-Ateen. My faith in Allah has been a source of strength and peace for me. It feels like a lifeline, really. Something that saves me from drowning when I'm at my lowest. Allahu Akbar. That's why staying pure before Allah is so important. We are created to crave God, to want Allah. But it's the human challenge to make our bodies and our minds sync up with Allah. Allah Last Friday, we talked about how the Holy Prophet wasalam, said, the best treasure is an obedient wife having a good disposition so that her husband is pleased to see her. And when the husband is not home, she protects her chastity. But at the same time, I feel like God wants us to explore the world that he gave us. I think that's a big part of our relationship with him, too. Hello? Dr. Jalali, I presume? Not yet, Mom. Can you stop by the mosque and get the tablecloths that I loaned to Najib's mom? Okay. Why don't you have dinner with them this week? Mom. Uh, mom, I I'll think about it. I have to go. Love you. Bye. Did you make any progress today? Yeah, I finally started my second draft last night. Wait, you're just now writing your second draft? I know, I'm like it. <laughs> you're crazy. You'd be proud I spent all morning writing. I got up to 10 pages. Out of what, 150? You should be chained to your desk. Yeah, I work better under pressure. <laughs> Why not set an appointment to write every day? Set an alarm if you have to. But, um, I gave you the inspiration for your topic. My experiences in Cameroon. I would always hear my grandmother talk about the cycle of the human soul. It wasn't until I was an undergrad that I realized that that's how my people preserved their philosophies. A lot of our ideas survived. I mean, even though the country's been Christianized, 
people still practice some form of ancestor worship. What do they say about the cycle of the soul? Well, my tribe believes that it's synced with the world around us, particularly the ocean, and that the spirit of our ancestors live in the sea. The good ones act as an intermediary between us and God. Is that what you believe? Well, I believe that when you die, your soul enters an in-between stage. The souls of good people are in a state of paradise awaiting the last day. What about the bad people? For them, it's not so nice. Hmm. Are there many other Muslims in Cameroon? Some. I actually grew up Christian. And then my mom got married to my stepdad, who's Muslim, and then we converted. He was an American visiting Africa. He was a missionary? No, he was a lawyer. But he converted you guys, though. Well, he wasn't an official missionary. <laughs> Did you ever know your biological dad? No, he died when I was a baby. My stepdad died a few years ago. I'm sorry. Time to get back to work. Come on, that was like two minutes. That's how it should be. Go right. I don't want you failing to be on my conscience. Meet me again tomorrow? Um, sure, if I have time. Okay, bye. bye. Oh, you look tired. Sit down, have some tea. Najib and his father came by today. Mr. Saeed just made partner. And Najib is going to be an associate at the same firm when he's past the bar. Nice. You know what they came by to talk about, right? I thought if I played dumb, I could avoid the subject. Najib is a hot commodity. And he's not going to be on the market for long. Mom. You don't even act interested in men. That's because it's rare to find one who's interesting. You mean all those years in college, you haven't been interested in anyone? So? You do like men, don't you? Yes. All I'm saying is that you could give him a chance. It's time. When I'm done with my dissertation, I'll deal with it. You know, Ara, maybe that's your problem. You look at love as something to be dealt with. to stay at my place. Why? Because it's fucking clean. I mean, your parents, they hooked you up with this place. The least that you could do is actually keep it clean. I'll clean my more head with this. Yeah, well, I think that you have done enough work for today. And, uh, I need to finish this, okay? Seriously? I mean, God forbid that we actually take our clothes off and uh, touch each other. <laughs> I'm going to Manny's. Uh, French roast with half and half, right? Thanks. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Do you have a table inside? Uh, you know, actually, I've been sitting all day long. Do you want to maybe take a walk? Uh, sure. <laughs> so, you never told me about your family. What would you like to know? Where are you from? I was born in Texas, but we moved to Seattle when my mom got out of the Air Force. 
it was just you and your mom. My stepmom, too. Oh. She is a lesbian. Yeah, I, I got that. So you never knew your dad? Yeah, he was a bad guy. Roughed us up a bunch. One night he beat us up both pretty bad. She grabbed me and left. I'm so sorry. You don't have to be. Shit happens, you know? I don't think stuff like that just happens. I could talk about it now. It seems like a bad dream I used to have when I was a kid. Is that when you lost your faith? And what? God? I don't recall ever having any. Your parents weren't Christian? No, both atheists. Grandparents too, I guess you could say like a third generation skeptic. So you've always doubted? I've always maintained that anything they s people say that they know about God is uncertain. So you're first generation agnostic because your parents were atheists? No, they felt the same way. Right, but you just said that they were atheists. Mm -hmm. Atheists aren't unsure. They're, they're certain that there is no God. There are levels of atheism. Which one are you? Atheist light. Was it weird when your mom came out? It was odd at first, but she was so much more happy I didn't care. And I love my stepmom, too. I wonder if you would have felt the same way in Texas. Why would that have mattered? Places can affect people's attitudes. I think if you're strong enough, you can keep stuff out. Like water-resistant wood. When you go back to Cameroon, does it affect your attitude? Of course. My grandma's crazy. She's not religious, but somehow our converting to Islam traumatized her. You ever feel oppressed by religion? I can't wear the uh, headscarf? It's called a hijab, and I wear it because I want to. <laughs> My grandma bugs me about it, too. Does it make you feel angry? No, just alienated. I don't fit in back home and I don't quite fit in here either. Makes me wish there was an in-between place. Like somewhere you could just be without offending anyone. Yeah. Well, it's time to get back to work. Harajalali? Yeah. Glad she's Sasha's friend. So, um, how did you two meet? I've known her for a while, actually. We're in the same department. Met her in an art gallery and we started talking. You? Uh, she is Sasha's good friend. So, um, are you guys going to start seeing each other more often? Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to go spend the night at Manny's house tomorrow night. Okay. Have fun. That's a good one. Yeah. Come on, Ari, you should have got that. I'm out of practice. Used to be really good, right? Good enough not to be embarrassing. You ever miss it? I miss all my free time. I uh, play in the league. Helps me blow off steam. Want to come watch me sometime? Maybe we'll grab some food after. I... So I was up late writing last night, and it all of a sudden came to me. I'm going to throw in a section of Spinoza's theory. <laughs> you added a section about rationalistic pantheism? <laughs> hmm? That has nothing to do with your topic. It has everything to do with it. I'm going to show that Calvin paved the way for other thinkers like Spinoza. 
So in a way, Calvinism helped move along the Renaissance. You have to show evidence. Are you sure you're not just a rationalistic pantheist and this isn't your way of infusing your personal beliefs into mm -hmm. your argument? I'm agnostic. I, I don't think it's possible to know if any deity exists. Not even Spinoza's. Maybe some people can. There's no certainty that. Certainty is it's gravity, cell division, death. Okay, but wouldn't you say that some people innately have a better understanding of physics than others? I mean, maybe the same is true for supernatural things. Maybe there are physical ways to study metaphysics that we just don't know about. Based on what people know right here and now, there's no certainty. Well, Spinoza would argue that the universe is deterministic. Everything that has happened or will happen could not have unfolded in any other way. And you're welcome. Why? Well, Spinoza's deterministic theory is a tie-in to Calvin's predestination. Would you mind coming and taking a look at some of my writing? Sure, I'm curious at this point. <laughs> Not bad. Your prose and ideas are great. Thanks. Ever heard of spell check? I hate spell check. That being the hardest part about writing a paper. I got a call from my friend Sasha the other day. She said you were seeing one of her friends, Gabrielle? Yeah, Gab mentioned meeting you once or twice. Is it weird for her that we're hanging out? No, why would that be weird? Seems like she'd be jealous. Nah, we have an open relationship. What? <laughs> we both see other people. She has another guy named Manny, I'm cool with it. And how many women are you seeing? So far, just her. I'm pickier than she is. You're all crazy. <laughs> Why? Don't you find that the least bit abnormal? No, we don't. You don't want to get married? No, not right now, no. She feels the same way. I mean, if it changes, it changes. Only in grad school. You're telling me that you've never had a boyfriend who you didn't want to spend the rest of your life with. I haven't really dated any. That's a little abnormal. <laughs> Jerk. When everyone started dating in high school, none of the boys seemed interested in me, so... By the time we got into college, I was too busy. Did you make yourself too busy? Well, my parents wouldn't allow it, and um, I wasn't ready for marriage yet, so I put all that on the shelf. You couldn't date until you were ready to get married? No. Plus, I was coughing out. How so? Well, I guess I used my beliefs as a way of avoiding all the awkwardness. It was easier to hide behind them. Well, I've been hiding a bit myself lately. You? From what? I don't know. Life? It's my seventh year in. I could have defended my fifth year if I'd won. Why didn't you? I've been a student all my life. I don't know what I'd do with myself. Are you nosing through my MP3 list? Maybe. <laughs> I don't think we're at a music sharing stage in our relationship yet. Anything you like? Um, yeah. <laughs> I used to catch my mom listening to music like this when she thought no one was watching. If you with it. 
list Your voice is on my wish list I know that it's not Christmas But I'm longing for your presence In my every day Shit Shit, I'm sorry <laughs> oh. <laughs> It goes off um, each day To remind me to write <laughs> You listened <laughs> Has it helped? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm caught up. Maybe I can use my superpowers to help you with other problems in your life. Oh, you have superpowers, huh? Yes. What were you gonna write about? Spinoza and the ripples in the universe. About how everything that is or will be are all like ripples in a pond. All outside our control, and nothing can change them. What about Calvin? I was gonna use the time that you gave me. About how Calvin's predestination is a, a version of the Christian version of Spinoza's theory. Do you believe that? Spinoza copied Calvin? No. In their theories. I believe that. What we do causes things to happen. And then the consequences, they, they're unavoidable sometimes, but it's only because of the choices. So, cause and consequence? Yeah. You don't believe in destiny then? No. Okay, well, if reality is all action and reaction, then could the thing that started it all be destiny? So you're saying that whatever caused the ripples in the universe, that's destiny? Maybe. In Islam, we call it Qadar. Qadar. Yeah, Qadar. It's, um, it's the Arabic word for destiny. Mm. We believe that everything that has happened or will happen is known by Allah. So are things determined by God? No, it's still cause and consequence. It's just that. Allah sees everything. What? No. It's just you. Just you. I've never been so comfortable Both inside and out I'm glowing Because of your Where's your silverware? Sure, the left. Mind if we eat standing up? Okay. <laughs> At home, we have to sit until everyone's done. You ever get tired of the lifestyle? Yes and no. Which parts? Like having to save yourself for marriage? No, but when everyone else is doing it, it's like you're missing out on something. You think what we did the other day is a sin? Yeah. Can you let it be on me? Doesn't work that way. I have to take care of it. You want a confession? You've got your religions mixed up. <laughs> Our repentance is called Taba, and you do it only to Allah. All that because we made out. Is that so hard to believe? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. You've never repented over anything you did? Not anything like that, no. It sounds horrible to me. I mean, tell someone you're sorry all the time. Like you're constantly going to the spiritual principal's office or something. You're thinking about it the wrong way. It's reconciliation to God. You repent to get closer to God. What else do you ask God for? All kinds of things. Yeah, like what? I ask him to help people. I also pray for my stepdad. You said he passed away, right? 
Yeah, it's a dua prayer. You say it for the dead. What do you ask God to do for the dead? I ask him to make them among the guided ones and fill their graves with light. You ever pray before? Yeah. Once when I was a little boy, I saw a bunch of Mormons praying in a restaurant, and I prayed and asked God for a million bucks. He didn't give it to me. <laughs> it didn't work. I'm going to say a prayer for you. Come on, get out. I'm going to. No, we don't have to. What would you pray for? My mom's sick. What's her name? Andrea. Andrea. Allah, you are ever merciful and kind. Great healer, please have mercy on Andrea and cure her from her illness. Hey, Ben, what are you uh, making? Oh. Hi, Ara. How are you? I'm good. So, making pasta. Good thinking, Ben. Hmm. No wine? Come on. You're meeting a bad host, Ben. Yeah, she doesn't drink. Yeah. Really? No. Oh. You're missing out. I'm gonna have some, though. So, um, tell me, what else can't you all have? A few things. Actually, I have to go. Um, lots of meetings tomorrow. Yeah, hey, 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 I'll walk you out. No, it's fine. Well, that was weird. Be careful with her. Oh my god, you're kidding. I swear I'm not. Well, little girl, so grown up. Hardly. You kept everything intact, right? Wow. I just want to make sure you're all looked up down there. But seriously, though, how do you feel? I can't shake the feeling that I'm screwing everything up. Screwing what up? My life, family, God. Sometimes you have to do what's right for you. Come in. Oh, hi guys. It's been a while. Hi, Aura. Hi. I actually wanted to talk with you a moment. Okay. Well, unless <laughs> you guys are in the middle of something. No, it's fine. I'll leave you girls to talk. <clears throat> Look, I know the whole thing with you and Ben. And well, I just wanted to let you know that I'm cool with it. So you both have other people? <laughs> well, I don't believe that you ever truly have somebody. I think we're more like jellyfish. They don't really ever hold on to their mates. They just kind of float around, touching each other. Is that what you believe? It's what I think is true. And I like you. And just because you're connecting with Ben doesn't mean that there should be any awkwardness between us.
does it taste like? It has bite like a soda, but no sweetness to it. So bitter and sharp. That doesn't sound very good. You want to sip? Okay. Tell your daughter, I said, thank you for watching the kids. Oh, she was glad to do it. <laughs> How long before Aura finishes her degree? This semester, thank Allah. Is that Aura? You need your eyes checked. Aura. Aura's a good two inches shorter than her. You okay? It's just that all my life I've been taught never to do this before marriage. Is that what you want? Hey. Hey. We don't have to do anything that you don't want to do, okay? I think people should be able to free to explore this kind of stuff when they're ready. If you're not, that's okay. That's okay. need my things. So what, you're not going to give us a chance? There is no us. Hi, Mom. Hi. Are you okay? I'm just a little tired. Did you have a good time last night? It was all right. Hmm. Allah forgive me. Allah forgive me. Allah forgive me. Hey. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah, come. I owe you an apology for the other night. I just want to know what I did to make you run out of there like that. No, it has nothing to do with you, I swear. I know you don't get it, but I can't live like this. You're a great guy, and it wasn't fair for me to make you think that I could. I'm sorry. Well, apology accepted, I guess. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I was worried about you. I'll be okay. Tava. Tava. Okay. Well, I have to go. Okay.
Did you have a bad weekend or something? No, I, um, I was just thinking about us and I reconsidered. Okay. I was torn between what I wanted and God. I didn't think I could have both. But you're not torn anymore. I think... I have hope that God won't cast me out for being with someone. What, what if there wasn't a God, and you spent your entire life doing things that you didn't have to do to impress an imaginary friend? You really believe God is imaginary? Most intellectuals in society think so. There are other intellectuals in the world besides the ones in the U.S. and the U.K. I mean, if you interviewed professors in India, they'd give you very different answers. That doesn't mean they're right. Look at the cognitive difference between us and insects. You have creatures whose memory lasts a few seconds, and then there's humanity that can decipher how stars function. So? So, if we're that much greater than creatures we can observe, doesn't it stand to reason that there are creatures higher than us? Sure. Worthy of our worship, not so much. So arrogant. Why? Because I don't want to pay senseless homage to something that could be as made up as Santa Claus? No, because you think there's a possibility that a god exists, but you don't think it's worth our time. I was reading the other day how a group of scientists figured out how to create matter out of light. <laughs> why, why isn't that praiseworthy? Why, why can't humanity focus on our own accomplishments? The atheist is most happy when he gets to play god. All cultures invent these tall tales or exaggerate things to give themselves significance. Like what you were telling me about your tribe submersing themselves in the ocean so they could talk to ghosts. You actually believe that? What if I did? The West declared a city of Troy was a myth until someone found it and then they had to eat their words. The Earth was flat until the West decided it was round. Before they were forcing us to be Christians, now they want us to be agnostic. God only exists when you say he does, right? Those ideas and stories you're mocking are the dignity of a lot of people. I think it's the kind of thing you make up when you have none. This was a mistake. Thanks for clearing it up for me. So are you going to tell me what's wrong? Ara, please. Sweetheart, tell me. I'm here for you. I know what you're going through. I thought I was in love with a man I met at university, too. Before you met my father? Yes. It's hard when you meet folks in a certain way at a certain time. It's like they were tailored just for you. What was he like? Oh, you know, nice and fun. For the first time, I felt free, like I had my own life and I could do whatever I wanted. Why didn't it last? I realized he, he wasn't really serious about life. He was more interested in going to one party after another than settling down and having a family. His lifestyle was unstable, just too crazy for me. When I came to my senses, I broke off with him. And soon after that, I met your father. And he was the right man for me. Did you ever hear about these couples and open relationships? Of course. It happens back home all the time. Some of the women, they just put up with it. Ara, are you? Oh. Why would you be in that kind of relationship, eh? 
He has this woman he's been seeing since before we met. Ara, you know that isn't right. I can see how unhappy you are about it. Ara, this is going to make you an outcast in our community. You know that, right? The men in this country, they will not understand something like that. They'll judge you. I just don't know how I got wrapped up in you it. You can unwrap yourself. Oh, sweetheart, you deserve better. When all this fire and passion dies away, and it will, you only find true freedom and peace in Allah. Come in. You're Ben Johnson? Y yeah. Um, you must be Ara's mom. Uh -huh. No, sir. I do not wish to shake your hand. Beg your pardon? You have been defiling my daughter, and you should make this right. I don't know what you're talking about. You have been with her. She's never been with a man before. You understand? You're ruining her for her husband. My daughter is a good woman, and she deserves to be with someone who's going to treat her with respect. I don't respect. think there's anything wrong with, with what we did. If you want what's best for her, leave her alone, or you have to marry her. And women in Islam cannot marry outside it. So are you going to convert and then break up with that other friend of yours? Do you see yourself married to Ara? You heard what I asked you. You understand? You're making her an outcast in the community if this continues. She'll have trouble finding a good husband, and for what? So you can feel like a big man? If you don't have honorable intentions for her, then leave her alone and let someone who deserves her step up. I hate to just drop in on you like this. It's okay. Look, I, I know you're busy, but uh, have you seen Gabrielle today? No, it's been a couple of days. Not worried? No, she does this all the time. She's probably with her folks. She hadn't been returning my calls. I just got worried. Anyways, I, I just, I just want to make sure she's all right. I'm sure she's okay. Is there something else on your mind, man? Do you love her? I don't know. Right. That's a no. What is love? Jesus. Yeah, I'm talking to a damn philosopher. No, I'm not being facetious. How, how do you know you're in love with someone? I can't stop thinking about her. I go crazy when she's gone. I go crazy when she's over here. I have never felt like this with another woman. Yeah? We're together. It just feels... It feels dangerous. Right. You feel the same way? No. With Gabrielle, it's, it's comfortable and easy, but no. The plants don't align. What about with the other woman you're seeing? In a weird way, yeah. There's your answer, man. Do the right thing, make us all happy. I think she should move in with me.
<laughs> I am so sorry I was such an ass. Can you forgive me, please? I'm sorry. So. You're better than this. You know that. Mom, I just need some time alone with him to figure some things out. Have you thought about the example you're setting for Mohammed and Miriam? Did you tell them? No. Are you going to marry this man? Have children with him? Mom, I love you, but I have to go. How are you feeling after today? Good. That's good. Are you still talking to Gabrielle? No. Did you love her? There are times when I, I thought I did. Being with her was, was comforting, easy. But we, uh, uh, we didn't fit in a lot of ways, and I felt guilty for not making it fit. I was afraid of being alone, I guess. Why? Ever since I moved out of my mom's house, I always had to have a woman around me. It's ironic. I was afraid of committing myself. It felt like the beginning of death. I thought love would step in and solve everything, but... You know. What is love? God hears all your prayers? Of course. Hmm. You think it's crazy, you know? No, actually, I'm a little jealous. Why would that make you jealous? Because it's something I can't experience. I need evidence for everything. The fact that you're so sure without it oh, makes me a little jealous. You've never thought there was a God? I thought there could be one once. When? It's one time when I was thinking about the origins of everything, like the universe. What do you think about the soul? I don't know. Define it, and I will tell you what I think about it. It's your immaterial essence, the unus of you. Like a part of you that's, that's separate from your body? Yeah. Um, sounds like a nice idea. Makes me wish I had one. You have a soul, silly. Mm -mm. I'm no frotto. I'm no frotto. I'm gonna have some friends over tomorrow. Is that okay? Okay. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. They want to meet you. Go, shot. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, um, black horse. Five, twelve. <laughs> Check me out. Hey, that's on you. Fuck no, we'll you out. <laughs> Dude, you are drunk, man. Dude, you are drunk, man. Hey! Uh, how are you? Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay, okay. No, no, it's bullshit. What's not? No, it's... Are you even no, listening? No, Whatever. listen to me. What I'm telling you, it's complete and utter bullshit. No, it's not. You're telling me with a straight face that the sexual revolution didn't liberate women. What I'm saying is that women, as a group, stopped paying attention to who they gave it up to. That's causes to be objectified more, that's all. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. We don't usually say no if it's offered. <laughs> but why shouldn't a woman fuck whoever she wants to fuck? 
Because we're the ones who get stuck with the kids when the asshole runs. Like you. You wouldn't want to have a baby with some random dude, would you? Sorry to interrupt. That's okay. All done? Yeah. Good. Every morning, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did you have fun last night? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was kind of awkward for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, my friends drink a lot. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The girls were pretty funny. They were talking about what kind of man they'd want to have kids with. God. <laughs> you ever want kids? Uh, one day, yeah. It'd be a nightmare now, though. Jeez. Why would it be a nightmare? Take over your life? Tie you down to some screaming spawn? Well, you were a screaming spawn once, too, you know? Yeah. I drove my dad nuts. I think it's partly why he was such a psycho. One half PTSD, the other half unwanted children. And he won all these uh, medals in the Air Force for leadership, so it, it couldn't have been the stress. He used to throw glasses at my head. Crazy shit. I, I honestly think that if he would have had just the room to be himself, he could have been a better man. You busy today? Never been with my advisor. You? I was gonna work on my dissertation. Okay. I'm gonna be late. Okay. Yeah, don't clean, okay? Okay. Can we talk to you? This isn't the answer. I love you. Allah loves you. Mom. Is this what you want? Are you really happy like this? Mom, you know I love you. This is just something I need to figure out on my own. I will wait on you forever. Do the right thing, Ara. Well, I don't know how you did it, but this looks ready to defend. Yeah, not bad, huh? It's good. It's thoughtful, well written. What happened? I'm serious. This is a world away from your last draft. Yeah, I guess it is. Ergo, my question what happened?
do the right thing, Ara. How did your meeting go? Great. All I have to do is uh, defend now. Hmm. Well, um, I have some good news. I was accepted into Georgetown Law. Wow. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. It was the first school that I applied to. So you're moving there after the summer? Right after graduation, actually. You didn't tell me you were applying. Hmm. Yeah, well. I'm probably going to be heading there in May because I want to get a lay of the land before the fall semester starts. And, um, well, I wanted to see if you would come with me. I, uh, I'm pregnant. Are you sure? Yep. I missed my period and I went to the doctor and I got the call today. I'm keeping the baby. I'm not saying this to be an ass, but are you sure it's mine? Yes, I'm sure it's yours. You are the only one that I have had unprotected sex with. You know, I just assumed that you would want to be involved in the life of your child. No, I mean, you're right. I'm just processing this. I love him. Lana says hi and that she loves you. <laughs> nah, I missed you all. Sorry, I've been busy and getting my dissertation together, but. <laughs> How's it coming? I, it's, it's ready to go. <laughs> Are you all right, Benny? Your voice sounds strange. Yeah, I haven't been too careful here lately. No, Gabrielle's pregnant. Oh, uh, wow. Crazy, huh? <laughs> How do you feel about this? I am, um, shaken up. Um, she's going to Georgetown in the fall. She, she wants me to come with her. And, uh, you don't want to? No. Um, there's someone else. Someone else? <laughs> Benny, this is soap opera okay, stuff, huh? We have an open relationship. I, I'm an idiot. Bringing myself into this. I, Gabrielle, she, she and I, we were just good for the time being, you know? I finally met this other girl who I have a real connection with, and I just think I ruined it, just like Dad. Um, ben. Ben, Benjamin, you couldn't be like that man if you tried. Do you want to live the rest of your life with Gabrielle? No. No. Well? Could you be a good father if you weren't living with her? Yeah. Well, it sounds to me like you've answered your own question. Hey. Hey, how'd your day go? Now, Betty, I, I didn't mean for you to clean all of this. It's okay. I said I'd clean. It's fine. So, you're too good to me. You shouldn't have to take care of my mess. 
I work better when things are clean. You hungry? Yeah, food sounds good. Um... Hey, there's something I've got to tell you. Something wrong? Yeah, I... Had a weird day today, I got some news. What is it? I don't know how to tell you this. What? Gabrielle's pregnant. I just found out today. Listen, I'm gonna tell her that even with the baby, I, I'm still gonna be with you. Um, Can you listen? Fuck. I, I didn't do this on purpose. Can, 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 you, can you give me the, the dignity of listening to me for a second? I need you to listen to me. It's very early in your first trimester, so you have lots of options. I have an opening as early as next Wednesday. Will it hurt? Some women have pain like cramps during the procedure, but it's very safe. But you don't have to make a decision today. Talk to your mom. She's worried about you. I figured as much. I've been worried about you too. Is there anything I can do? I don't think anyone can help me now. Our, uh, my father and I have been pushy. I'm sorry for that. Look, I don't care what's happened. I want to help you if you'll let me. Professors, thank you for your time here today. My dissertation focuses on the tenets of Calvinism and how that philosophy spread across Western Europe and affected the politics and culture. And contrary to statistics, Cameroonian philosophies still thrive within Christianity, much like the cult of Isis survives within Roman Catholicism as the veneration of Mary. That was brilliant, Ara. Thank you. Congratulations on a remarkable defense and on your engagement. Thank you. So will you be Dr. Jalali? No, I'm choosing to take my husband's name. You can just have a seat over there. How'd it go? I did okay. You? Pretty sure I passed. You think so? If I would have done this a month ago, I, I would have said no. <laughs> you? I passed, I think. Here's you got engaged? Yeah. Congrats. Thanks. What are you going to do after this? Move to D.C. to be near Gabrielle. I got a teaching fellowship there.
Well, I hope you two are happy. Ben? Ara? Hey, listen, I just want to say... No, Ben. Not here. They're ready for you, Ben. What were you going to write about? Spinoza and the ripples in the universe. About how everything that is or will be are all like ripples in a pond. All outside our control and nothing can change them. Do you believe that? Yeah. 